Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about all things layering. Now, I have been thinking about this video for a very long time. I did do like a layering video on my channel, maybe two videos on my channel, but a very long time ago. And I wanted to kind of break down how to layer. Now, if you guys don't want to layer your fragrances and you only want to wear one and you think layering in is, is an absolute like abomination, then that is totally fine and I personally respect your opinion. Um, but this is for the people who do want to learn how to layer and are interested in kind of like experimenting with your fragrance collection. I want to break it down for you guys on how I personally learned to layer. Like I didn't read anything or look at any videos of how to layer. This kind of technique just came from experimentation. So take this video with a huge grain of salt. I am not telling you guys that this is the only way to layer your fragrances. I'm just sharing all the tips that I've learned over the years. So I want to start out with simplifying layering. Now, this is the simplest way to layer. I'm going to start out with Bouquet Encore from Locust. Now, this fragrance is a beautiful white floral. Let's say you love Bouquet Encore and you want to layer it with another one of your fragrances, but you're not really sure what's going to go well with it. My suggestion is to layer it with another white floral. My advice to anyone that just wants to start learning of how to layer their scents, start by combining fragrances that have the same scent profile. So white floral with white floral, vanilla with vanilla, spicy with spicy, uh, rose with rose. You get what I mean. Like just start very easily and start by layering fragrances that have the same scent profile. Now that is the easiest way to layer and it's what I personally do all the time because in a way it just helps the initial fragrance that you put on to last a bit longer, to maybe smell a little stronger, and to kind of bring a few more edges to the fragrance. So that is my advice for anyone that wants to start layering your fragrances, but you're completely confused of what's going to go well together and are they going to mix together well, just start easily and start to layer fragrances with the same scent profile. Vanilla, vanilla, rose, rose, bergamot, bergamot. You get what I mean by that. <laughs> now we're going to talk about the complicated way to layer. And I am so excited to discuss this because as you guys know, I am such a big fan of layering, especially since I moved to Dubai. Guys, in Dubai, I have seen some crazy stuff. I've seen people layer like eight perfumes all at once. And for me, I usually layer two to three fragrances. Usually I layer two fragrances together and that's me done. But sometimes I will layer three and sometimes I will put on an Atar first or a little bit of Bahor and then I will put on my fragrances. But that's another video completely. I just want to talk about layering fragrances together in this video. Now, I'm going to try to simplify it as much as possible for you guys. So I have one fragrance as my example fragrance. So the one that I wanted to use is Tony Iomi from Zerzhov. Now, if you guys know, I love this fragrance so much. It is so good, but I'm actually going to go ahead and read the notes of the fragrance so you guys understand what is inside of here because I think it's like caramel, passion fruit, patchouli, etc. And obviously, guys, I'm using Sniff to read about this fragrance, which if you don't know, Sniff is the mobile application that Pierre and I just launched and it's just amazing. I love it so much. Um, but anyway, so Tony Iomi has rum, caramel, patchouli, cinnamon, bourbon vanilla, leather, passion fruit, labdanum, rose, bergamot, sandalwood, tonka bean, musk, ambergris, and geranium. Whew, what a mouthful. But in my opinion, what I mostly get from this is a sweet patchouli, passion fruit, caramelized, slightly like boozy fragrance, woody in the base. It is just incredible. It is a 10 out of 10 fragrance. Now, let's get into the layering of this scent. So you want to start out with the first fragrance. Pick the fragrance that you want to layer with. I'm going to start with Tony Yomi, like I just explained, and I talked to you guys about the notes. Now, let's say 
that in this fragrance I want to enhance the vanilla, the cinnamon. I want to enhance those sweeter, more gourmand facets of Tony Yuromi. I'm going to pick this fragrance to bring out those sweeter notes. Now this fragrance here is Silky Woods from Goldfield and Banks, which is a beautiful, smooth, sexy, ambery vanilla fragrance with a bit of cinnamon. It's just incredible. It's one of my favorite vanilla fragrances an incredible gourmand scent. Now, like I said, if I want to amplify those sweeter notes in Tony Yomi, I'm going to go ahead and layer Silky Woods on top. And you guys, the combination is to die for. So if you guys own those two fragrances, try layering them together. But what I'm trying to explain to you guys is the process. So if I wanted to bring out the sweeter notes, I'm going to go ahead and layer on top a fragrance that is quite gourmand. If I want to bring out those sweeter gourmand notes in Tony Yomi, I'm going to layer it with a sweeter gourmand fragrance like Silky Woods. So that is the first way. Let's say I want to bring out the fruitiness of the fragrance, that passion fruit, that punchy fruitiness in Tony Yomi. I'm going to go ahead and mix on Cajal Lamar. Now I wore this combination the other day and my God, you guys, it was so good. Now what Lamar is going to do if you layer it on top of Tony Yomi, it's going to push forward those fruitier notes. That passion fruit is going to pop out more. The fruitiness and the ambriness of Tony Yomi is going to come forward much more. And you guys, it smells fantastic. Like this combination as well is killer. So if I want to amplify those fruitier notes, I'm going to layer on top a fruity-ish fragrance here. And this is a fantastic combo. And finally, let's say I want to bring out the darker side of Tony Yomi. I want to bring out those base notes, the woodiness, the leather, the smokiness, the darkness. I want to maybe even make it a little more masculine. I'm going to layer on top Golden Oud from Maison Sur. Now, I have to be completely transparent. I am not a big fan of Golden Oud from Maison Sur. It is a little too smoky for me, too intense, a little too dry, too woody for me. I love Perfect Oud, but I'm using Golden Oud as the example here because this is a very dark, smoky Oud, like slightly leathery, um, very dark fragrance. And honestly, you guys, pairing them together, it brings out the leather, the woods, that more intense darkness in Tony Yomi, and it just complements each other so, so well. So that would be my last recommendation. Um, it's really good together. And actually, it makes me like and enjoy Golden Oud from Maison Sur when I mix it with Tony Yomi. It actually makes me enjoy wearing this fragrance. So that is also a good tip for you guys. If you're kind of struggling with one of your fragrances and you don't really like it so much, try layering it with another fragrance because you might find that it tones down the woodiness or it tones down the sweetness or it tones down the rose, whatever it is. So I hope that I managed to explain myself well enough in this video, but really for me, layering has been just a process of experimentation. I have kind of learned how I like to layer myself and truly, you guys, I personally really love to layer fragrances with a similar scent profile. I just find that it amplifies the fragrance 10 times. Like I love mixing La Perla Possibilities with Bouquet Encore from Loquest because I feel like they just, they're not the same fragrance, but they just kind of amplify each other, which I love. When I want to create my own kind of concoction, that's when I do the process that I was talking to you guys about with Tony Yomi. Once you understand your fragrances and what's inside of them, which you can learn on Sniff, then you can see what notes you want to amplify in that fragrance. Like in Tony Yomi, for instance, if I want to enhance the sweetness or the dark woodiness or the fruitiness, you can kind of play around with that. And it's just, it's really fun. And in my opinion, layering is a form of expression and I totally understand people that think it's a um, yeah like an abomination because technically a perfumer they spend sometimes years and years on creating a fragrance for you to go and mix it with other scents but in my opinion fragrance is truly a passion it's just 
it's a part of us and you guys like I know that you love fragrance so much just as much as me fragrance for me is very personal and I think that you should be able to do whatever you want with your fragrances if you want to layer 10 fragrances on you do it there is no rules and there shouldn't be any rules because at the end of the day we all love fragrances and we're allowed to do whatever we want with our fragrances because they're ours and they're a form of expression in a way um, so yeah, that is it. I hope that this video was better than the last layering video that I did. Um, but I don't know. Take away from this video what you want to. I'm telling you guys if you want to start easy, do what I said, layer fragrances with similar scent profiles. And you, if you want to take it to the next level and create like a special concoction, then do what I said in the second part of the video where you kind of amplify certain notes, which is really, really fun. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.